Hey, welcome back to that God Power channel. This is the channel where we're going to unlock the God Power that's laying dormant inside of you. But today, what we're going to do is continue breaking down the book of Matthew like we have been doing. So, if you haven't seen the older videos, um, i.e. chapter 3 breakdown, I advise that you probably should um, go back and watch that video. It's a really good video, insightful, and in order to be caught up on the storyline, uh, it will make sense to watch that one. So, uh, let's just go ahead and jump into number of, or chapter 4 here. And this is now, Jesus has grown, um, he's already gotten baptized, so they start the chapter with Jesus going into the wilderness. Uh, he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness for one purpose, and that purpose was to be tempted by the devil. So what he does is he fasts for 40 days and for 40 nights, and he ends up being really, really, really hungry. And that's when the devil comes to him, when he's at his all-time hunger, low. And the devil comes to him and says, um, If you really are the Son of God, why don't you just turn these stones into loaves of bread? And Jesus was like, no, no. Because the scripture says, people don't live by the bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So then the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem. He took him to like the highest temple, the highest point on the temple. And he was like, if you're the son of God for real, jump off. And the scriptures say that he will order his angels to protect you and hold you up with their hands. And you won't even hurt your foot. And Jesus was like, uh, nah, you must not test the Lord. That's in the scriptures as well. And so then the devil took him to the peak of a really, really, really high mountain. And he showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And their glory in an instance like whew. he's like i can give all this to you if you'll just kneel down and worship me so the devil had the power to give the whole world and all the kingdoms of the world to jesus if jesus kneeled down and worshiped him but jesus was like dude get out of here satan the scripture says you must worship the lord your god and serve only him and so the devil went away and the devil was like damn I can't even mess with this dude. And that's when the angels took care of Jesus. All right. And so then it skips ahead and it shows where John was arrested. So John, uh, Jesus heard the news that John the Baptist got arrested. And so he went out of the wilderness. He went back to Judea um, to uh, Nazareth where he was born. And then he moved to this place beside the Sea of Galilee in a region of uh, what they call Zebulun and Naphtali. I don't know if locations mean anything to you, but it's all over there in the Middle East, what we call today. I would say it's in the Middle East and the uh, Mediterranean. That's like the main area. But anyways, Jesus moved over there. And so from then on, Jesus began to preach. And by him even being in that city, that, that fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah from the Old Testament as well. Um, so again, this is going along with the motif that Jesus is fulfilling all these prophecies just by living his life and he's not going out of his way to fulfill them like he's just so far been fulfilling these and in verse 17 it says jesus began to teach um he, he began to preach the message repent for your sins and turn to god for the kingdom of heaven is near and that was a really powerful message of those days and he was uh, getting a lot of attention for that message that's the same message john the baptist was preaching um <clears throat> Jesus was walking on the shores of the, of the coastline one time, and he saw two fishermen, two brothers, and one was named Simon, uh, also his name was Peter, so Simon Peter, and the other one was named Andrew, and they were throwing a net into the water, and then Jesus walked up to them, and he was like, yo, come follow me, and I'll show you how to fish for men, show you how to be a fisherman of men, and immediately, they, uh, they followed him, they cast their nets into the sea, and they followed him, they left their nets behind. I don't know if they knew um, exactly what fishermen of men meant at the time, but they knew that Jesus was something special, so they definitely followed Jesus. Um, <clears throat> but a fisherman of men is basically Jesus is going to go teach them how to fish for men's soul to help men to repent for their sins and turn to God, basically. So... Uh, he was recruiting like a, a general at this point. And I think this is a cool part of the story. It should have some like action music to it. Uh, a little bit further up the shore, he saw two other brothers, John and James, sitting on the boat. 
um, with their father and they were just like repairing their nets. Their father's name was Zebedee. I don't know if that even has any significance, but it sounds cool. Like Zebedee. I've never heard nobody name that. But um, Jesus called them. He was like, come with me as well. And they immediately followed him and they left the boat and their father behind. So one thing to say about that is that, you know, of course, you've probably heard that when Jesus calls immediately, you follow. This is what this is showing that Jesus called these dudes immediately. They followed. They left everything they had behind to follow Jesus. That's huge. Just like a mm, underlying um, message behind these words. And so Jesus went on like a tour and he traveled through Galilee, uh, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news of the kingdom. He was healing every kind of sickness and disease. And pretty much he got super famous. Like news of him spread as far as Syria and people were bringing all their sick people and all the diseased people to him. Um, And if they were sick, if they had disease, if they were demon possessed, if they were epileptic, if they were paralyzed, Jesus healed them. And so, of course, he was very, 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 very famous um, in that day because there was none other on the earth that was doing stuff like that. So he was just healing all disease and people from all over that region was just bringing in sick people to him and listening to the words that he was pre- preaching. And eventually it, it got to the point where everywhere he went, he was followed by large crowds and it was diverse crowds. It was people from all over that region just following him around. And this is how you know something special about Jesus. Um, but they end the chapter there, and that's the end of chapter four breakdown. I hope that you learned something, and I'm going to do chapter five breakdown soon, so come back and join me. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload chapter five. And also, uh, look out for a, a lot more videos coming soon. Um, I don't know if you saw the interview with me and Kid Azul or me and Blue. That's pretty cool. It's insightful. He had a lot of good stuff to say. I would check that out. Um, but other than that, just remember, you got that God power. Tapping the sources, calling the vibes. I just thank God I'm alive. I just thank God that I'm alive. I just thank God for my bonds. Every night, these letters they suck in my spirit.